haven't done a vlog for a while because I'm busy editing my film which I'm launching at on 26 November in Cape Town at the lobby of theatre you can come it's a private screening but you can come and do a booking I'll put the link down here it's an Afrikaans film of 35 minutes it's my first fictional film so I've been working on, an, on that very hard for a long time now but uh, today I'm just outside of Plettenberg Bay at a little uh, market, a farmer's market, it's called the Harkerville Market and I thought maybe it's time to do just a little simple vlog about this market. So let's check out the Harkerville Market outside of Plettenberg Bay. I think most people know by now from my previous vlogs that all got deleted from my previous channel or this channel that I deleted by accident that I do have a bit of an alcohol problem so it's about 11 o'clock in the morning now but Saturday it's a nice market but the first thing I'm gonna do is see if I can get any kind of alcohol like craft beer or something but it's a little it's a cool little market it's not big it's quite small uh, it's quite intimate it's a lot of organic food and stuff and uh, it's a nice vibe it's actually people out so that's cool to see people at the market again after covid it's amazing uh, the little sitting area food everybody looking at this guy talking on his phone to himself so this is going to be uh, more or less formal vlog more just walk through checking things out craft beer craft beer craft beer hi dj uh do you mind if i take a little video of you this is our dj playing nice music and uh, said can you tell me if there's any craft beer type of alcohol around you or Unfortunately, no beer, no alcohol whatsoever. In this market, no alcohol. There's no alcohol on this market. <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> anyway, so it goes. Yeah, I think what it is, it's a bunch of hippies and they just smoke marijuana and drink kombucha and then they drink alcohol or eat meat. This is awful. I was just saying this is, must be a bunch of hippies because you can't buy booze here or craft beer. So here's a hippie doing a kombucha. I just talked about kombucha. No, I'm just joking. I'm sure you're not a hippie. I'm just joking. So this is the kombucha stall which I just talked about. I said they probably only drink kombucha here. So, you see your, your sign. Is there anything you want to say about the stall? A lot of information to say here all about probiotic, um, probiotic products, kombucha, ferments, uh, probiotic immune boosting shots that we have come and boost your immune system. Does it stop COVID? Excuse me? Does kombucha stop COVID? It helps to prevent COVID. I can't say that it completely stops it, but you'll boost your immune system and feel amazing. I'm 
at the cheese stall, you can smell it. It smells like cheese. The guy's name is Paul. And they said I can video his cheeses. It smells really interesting. Paul, do you make all the cheeses yourself? No, nah, not all of them. Some of them. There's no uh, beer here and people seem to be camera shy still in this day and age. Or not too friendly everybody when you put the camera on them, but I'm just trying to show people shit, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see the cool. Do you mind if I take a video of your stall? Can you, you want to tell me something about your stall? No, sorry, I don't know what to say. You can't put me on the spot. Speechless. Like that. Sorry. I also always put people on the spot because it's the only way to get the real reaction. Right? No, that's so, so that's what she got to say about the stool, okay. but it's, it's dried fruit, also healthy. Uh, I don't think there's anything unhealthy in this market, is there? Probably not. We've got quite a few local, uh, local produced products, uh, pecans, walnuts, almonds, pistachios, all directly from the farm. And yeah. Yeah, okay, this guy is asking how much am I going to pay him to take a video of his stall. I told him $100,000. Is that okay? I will send you the check. I'll give you my account number. What do you sell, sir? My, I sell what I'm selling. Um, See my shop. I said, where does it come from, Oscar? Come again. Where does it come from, Oscar? It comes from around here. It's it local stuff. Around? I make okay. it myself. You can see what I'm making there. I make big stuff. You do all this yourself? Yes, paintings, all the stuff. And you from where? I'm from around here. Also from around here. Mm. Okay. Nice now. Let me show you the stuff. Mm. Now unicorns. You don't make unicorns. No, you got seahorses. You need to make uh, some unicorns yeah. as well. If you have seahorses, you need unicorns, man. Yeah. They go hand in hand. They like they like little. A little friends, you know, yeah, seahorses and unicorns. Oh, okay, you will bring unicorns next time, but rainbow colored unicorns. They will sell them. Hippies love that shit. You know? yeah. Oh, gosh. I like this pink stuff. No, that's not pink stuff. It's a flamingo. Oh, it's a flamingo. It's a beady flamingo. I just walked past here and it smells amazing. And I have coffee here. Just another coffee stall. What is special about your coffee stall? Um, well, we use deluxe coffee, which is in, from Cape Town, combined with great milk, uh, locally made from a range of different cows to provide a stunning cup of coffee. So, one of the best in place, if I do say so myself. Do you know any of the names of the cows? I just want to test your loyalty to the, the dairy products. I I'm afraid not. Um, I don't have a personal relationship with any of the cows just as of yet, but I mean, that could always start sometime. <laughs> See, what I would do, I just make up names. Like, the easy one is Daisy or Pansy or flower names for well of cows or I don't know. What cow name would you say is a good name for a cow? A good name for a cow. A good name for the cow. Huh? Yeah, like uh, Daisy or. Uh, any name? <laughs> Pondrop. Bon, bon drop. There's a good one, bon drop. It's like Afrikaans now. Okay, this is the coffees. And it's deluxe coffee works from Cape Town. I'm not punting them at all. <laughs> and here's a, a new coffee guy. Thanks guys. good and it's beautiful but I really need a beer or some form of alcohol soon so I'm waiting for friends uh, living close by I'm competing with the DJ now and uh, 
I'm just waiting for them, they will probably go to their place. But uh, I spent quite some time with the kombucha lady, Tiffany, because she's cute, don't you think? Tiffany, if you're seeing this, uh, please contact me so uh, I can come and taste more of your kombucha. My uh, most amazing friend Jonathan just arrived with his family, his uh, wife and his daughter. I'm not sure if they're camera shy, you might meet them, you might not. I think they're a bit camera shy, but uh, they arrived, we're gonna drink coffee now. And I'll take it from there. So these are the folks I've been waiting for. Jonathan, Anya and Mara. And we're gonna go to their place now and we're gonna do a bit of a, a podcast of Jonathan about some of his stuff. Cool. So they yeah, they arrived. Uh, the market is closing down now and we're gonna go to Jonathan's place and I'm gonna do a bit of a podcast. It was quite a pleasant morning, despite not having beer. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Check out for the podcast.